Hey guys, I'm Laura with the Fab School. I'm gonna be showing you guys the difference between a MIG gun and a TIG torch today. So come on over here, let's go check out the MIG stuff first. So this is our Miller 252 MIG welder. Um, the main differences between MIG and TIG is that this is a wire-fed welder. So you are not holding the filler material in your other hand, you're holding it just in this torch. So the MIG gun also is used as a cut for the shielding gas. Um, it still has a contact tip inside. This is what actually transfers your arc to the wire and it is wire fed. So you would squeeze the trigger and it feeds the wire and the electricity to your part at the same time. So this is more of a one hand operation, whereas TIG is done with two hands. So let's go over there and check that out. So this is the TIG torch right here. So this thing uses tungsten as an electrode instead of that copper piece. And your electricity, your DC or AC voltage is, um, or amperage, I guess, is pushed through this tungsten. And this cup is used to shield the argon gas here. So your material is not fed through your torch that you hold with your right hand. It's now fed in with your left hand. So you, this is a two-hand operation here. So you would be melting your material with this torch and then feeding the filler material with your left hand here. It's a little bit different, but kind of the same thing. Um, they do use different gases. TIG uses 100% argon, and MIG uses 75% argon and 25% carbon dioxide. So same, same, but different. <laughs>